time for a good old fashioned thrift hunt. We're gonna go to a thrift store, find things we can resell online for some moolah, and along the way, show you an item that I could not believe was there. It actually said it was poisonous, so, well, you'll see it. Here is the first thing I saw. You gotta forgive the camera flipping out. I think it's the fluorescent lights. It's a Sylvania DVD VCR combo for $15. Uh, sells for about 100 bucks on Amazon. So it did turn on, but it would not eject DVDs, so I put it back on the shelf. Here's a Sony alarm clock. I buy these for three bucks, six bucks. Eh, I've already got inventory, so I'm not gonna keep it. Over here, I saw a very cool pair of binoculars. I saw another reseller out there in Utah by the name of Tim Osborne sell a pair of binocs for like $1,400. Did I have some priceless World War II binoculars? No, I did not. These are from uh, Kmart. They are worth about $15, $25 if you're lucky, so I put them back. Here's something pretty cool. It's some Jack Daniels number nine cask hip flasks, about six ounces a piece. I smelled them, they do not smell of residue alcohol, so even though I'm paying three bucks a piece, I will buy both of these to sell them in a lot of two for about 35 bucks on eBay. Here's something you might not know, this kind of clay stoneware pottery stuff it can be quite valuable, so this had no discerning marks, unfortunately I could not figure out a value on that. This, however, right here, if you look on the back of this, it has who made it. Pretty cool. It is Robinson and Rensbotten. Unfortunately, it was a uh, 13 bucks, and it only goes for about 15, 20 bucks per item on eBay. So, although I do like the organic design, had to pass on that. Another brand to look out for is Glass Bake. You can kind of see that on the back. The glare kind of shows it. Again, these items are low value items, but if you can see this kind of branded stuff, it is worth looking up on eBay. So, I thought I was getting skunked. No winners yet. But what did I see on the shelf but a new in package La Crosset salt and pepper shaker. Uh, it's originally 13 bucks at Home Goods, so even as a retail arbitrage flip, this would have worked. The used go for 30 bucks on eBay and new it sells for $50. Pretty crazy for a pair of salt and pepper shakers. Sometimes thrift stores have stupid prices. This is one of the examples. Dove exfoliating soap, Dove vintage soap unscented all kinds of dove soaps they want two bucks a piece are you shitting me you can buy a brand new bar of soap with a dollar tree for a buck 25 who's paying two bucks for old grimy soap speaking of that here's some soap i almost did buy vintage late 70s neutrogena imperial bath soap that one's empty. I actually saw it on the shelf uh, below. You can see my left hand covering it up barely. And the one next to it did have the bar of soap in there. So when I examined these, it was kind of gross. There was some, uh, not, I, I thought it may be like a fungal bloom. I think it's probably just like a glycerin crystal or something on there. Gross. Uh, I could not find any comps. I found soaps of a similar era going for like 15 bucks. These are mostly used for like movie props, that kind of stuff. So while it was interesting, not worth the investment. Here's something I did take a small risk on. This is 16 magnets, refrigerator magnets, mostly clay, all late 90s for $4. You're about a quarter in per and I should be able to sell these for between nine and 15 bucks a piece. They're unique, they're cool. So for four bucks, why not? Here we are back to an old faithful, a PS2 wireless Guitar Hero Guitar guitar controller. Say that five times fast. This one is fine, Wemmy Bar is tight. These two, however, are off-brand. I don't like to sell the off-brand ones because there's no Amazon listing for them, but if you were to sell them on eBay, it still might be in your best interest, especially if you lot them up together. Now, I gave this toy accordion way too much time. I don't know, I was just interested by it. Next to it is a Darth Vader Lego clock. These go for about 15, 20 bucks. If you are ungated in Lego on Amazon, though, however, you can get about 50 bones for those, so it's worth doing that if y'all. Now, over to mugs. I had some good luck with Ray Dunn mugs in a earlier thrift video. This one was cool. Hopefully I don't ruin it when I pulled off the rack, but no brand, so no buy. This Ray Dunn mug says hubby. It came in a two-pack. One says wife or wifey or some nonsense like that. I guess they got divorced because I couldn't find its 
compatriot. If I had both of those, I could get about 30 bucks for them, but individually it goes for about $15 and at a $6 buy cost, that's just not worth it. So what do we have here? This is what I was telling you about. This says, not for food. Use may poison food. Uh, what? That's not okay. What I think that is, and I'm not an expert in pottery, I am not a ceramist, I believe that is lead glazed pottery. So what I did is I took it up to the front register. I said, hey, this uh, I think is poisonous. You probably shouldn't sell it. Did they heed my advice? I don't know. But now you know, so if you are out buying mugs at a garage sale or whatever, and you see on the bottom of it, poisonous, it isn't a joke. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like videos like this, please subscribe, and I'll see you later.